Okay, folks, I'm pretty excited for this video. I have a new camera and we're gonna do an unboxing. In about a month, I'll give you a 30 day review of how it goes with it. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, folks, uh, we got the new GoPro. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay. Let's see here. So we've got a couple pieces here individually wrapped. This is going to be the suction cup mount. This is going to be a mini tripod. And then this is going to be our camera. Which one did we get? We got the GoPro 360 Max. And then we have some goodies. Looks like just a return envelope of some kind and our invoice. Okay, before we go any further, let's uh, just go ahead and get the uh, statements out of the way. I in no way am receiving any type of compensation for this review. Um, I purchased this product out of my own funds from my own pocket so that we could uh, get a new toy to play with for our upcoming videos. Okay, let's start with opening up the camera and see how that works. Okay. Uh, there's a pull strip on the bottom. Yep, and a pull strip on the bottom. <clears throat> and we get a real nice zipper pouch here. It's of a canvas like material, but it's got, it's surrounded by a hard case. It's actually a, a form fitted hard case. Okay, so it looks like we have our instructions. We have a pouch with some extra round lenses, the bubble lenses. I believe that this helps it be waterproof, but we will find that out as we go. If I can just get it back in here. <coughs> we have the battery. We have our charging cable, our sticky mount. And another part of the mount. I don't know how this all works yet, but we're going to be finding out. Oh, it looks like it probably, yep, somehow just slides right on into there or from that direction. Okay. And then here's our camera. Now, I don't know why, but I, I did think that it was going to be bigger than this. So being as compact as it is, um, is a good thing. And 
Okay. Anything else? No. Is it? There is a tool in there, a mount tool. Okay. Let's put these guys back in there. set that up there now let's take a look at this mount because this appears to be a pretty small box i'm interested in what we're going to have in here okay Disclaimers. Aha. Uh -huh. Origami. Well, it does look tiny, but efficient. Nice little curved feet, so no matter what the angle is, it seems to be like it'll get some good grip. And then the mounts for the bottom of the, the thingamabob or the uh, camera. Okay. Once that I remove this inner shell, all of this should fit in here nicely. And the suction cup mounts, which is what we're going to use to secure it on the bike. Boy, they really know how to fold some things up. And that's the adjusting arm. Okie dokie then. Well, I guess it's time for us to figure out how all this works. I'm going to get all this mounted up. And uh, we're going to be shooting over the next couple days some video from it. And I can't wait to share it with you when that happens. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a good day.